everybody. Um, I am at Stansted Airport and I'm off on a bit of an impromptu trip to Portugal to uh, meet up with my aunt and uncle and have a few days of rest and relaxation, hopefully sun warmth. So it was a really early start, four o'clock this morning leaving the island, um, driving to Stansted and then luckily security was really quick and then I just stopped in, bought myself a book and uh, had some breakfast and hopefully I'll be on the plane within an hour. So uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. It's always exciting when it's something that you haven't really planned. And so I will catch you guys later. It's been a, uh, a pretty tough transition to coming back because it was so lovely in Portugal. It was warm and sunny and I was in the pool. And then whilst I was away, the UK and France and everything getting battered by a crazy storm. So I just kept getting messages from everyone saying, trees are falling down, the river's running really fast. Everyone be really careful, put your life jackets on. I didn't know if I was gonna get home or not because my flights were, I thought, wondered if my flight might be canceled. Anyways, I got home, I've collected lemon, I'm back. No trees fell on the house, the boat is still there. Bob did amazing, you know, just keeping an eye on things, um, taking care of the boat. So big thanks to him, making sure it didn't sink with all the rain. And yeah, now I'm back and it, winter has hit. Everything's rainy but we've had a rare moment of sun. Everything's looking kind of green and just enjoying taking lemon for a walk. I'll show you the river in a minute. It is a beautiful winter, autumn day. The sun is very bright. I am on Bob's deck and we're doing the last of the winter jobs, which is to take the cover off of his boat, the front one, and we're gonna lay it out on his deck and we're gonna use the pressure washer to wash it all off and then hopefully it'll dry out and then we'll put it all back on and everything will be clean and watertight and Hopefully everything will go smoothly. We're just getting our wellies on. We've got the pressure washer that we borrowed from Laurie and Simon all hooked up. So uh, next thing is to get the cover off the boat.
So this is probably the time of year that I hate the most because it's bonfire night, fireworks, it's just, it's awful. I mean, they look pretty, they're beautiful, but I don't know if you can see this absolute poor dog who is just trembling. And that was just one, one bang. It's not even like full dark yet. Um, I've tried everything. Literally, she just, you know, she'll just sit like this, absolutely terrified. She doesn't know what to do with herself. She tries to dig everything up. She tries to hide places, but then she's not happy. I've kind of tried, I've tried everything. I've tried music. I've tried um, putting blankets on top of her. I've tried um, like weighted stuff. Uh, I just, everything. She, she's, she goes in her crate, but she doesn't, she even that doesn't like it. Look, she, she just climbs everywhere to try and get away. Um, but she's never happy and it's really awful to see. She's even been so bad, like so panting and shaky that she makes herself sick, which is just horrible to see. Lemons. I'm not even sure. She doesn't even know where she wants to go. She's just not sure. Lemon, come here. Don't sit on the corner of the sofa. Are you going to get down? Go on then, get down. No, just, just sit on the corner of the sofa like a weirdo. So I found this on Amazon. I have no idea if it's going to work. It says it needs an hour to work. So I thought if I gave it to her at five, it would be working in time for six o'clock. But no, some idiots have decided to start setting fireworks off at five o'clock. So again, I don't know if this is going to work. Had some decent reviews on Amazon. It's supposed to be some sort of like valerian root homeopathic thing. Um, so we're going to try it and see if that works because I just don't have any ideas. If you've had experience with dogs that have extreme sensitivity to noise, extreme anxiety, please let me know because I'm, I feel like I've tried everything and it's just awful to see her this way. So I really wish people would use silent fireworks. It's, you know, I wish that that's like all that they would sell. Um, but yeah. So anyways, so I'm going to put this on her now and hope that hope that we're not too late and hope that it works a bit i'll let you know so lemon firework update it's now eight o'clock uh we've just had non-stop fireworks since about five o'clock i gave her that calming stuff but unfortunately um i think you're supposed to give it to them about an hour before you expect things to kick off and of course it kicked off an hour earlier than I expected, so she was already kind of panicking, as you saw in the video before. Um, so I gave it to her anyways. It didn't really seem to work that much, but I also put her straight in her crate, and I put my little speaker in where her crate was, and I played, well, first I played White Noise, um, which to try and drown out some of the um, banging. It didn't really seem to like do much. And then I thought, well, hold on, I always play like music. So maybe actually music would be more calming and that's probably gonna drown out the noise a bit more. So my choice of music tonight for Lemon to try and calm her down was uh, the essential John Mayer playlist because if I needed to be calmed down, then the crooning, lovely voice of John Mayer, nice and sort of soothing, not too rock and rolly, um, I think that would do it for me. So actually in the end, I kept her in her crate for a couple of hours with the doors sort of closed, everything was quite dark, with the music on. Um, and although I could hear her sort of really panting and digging and stuff, but actually she was a lot it didn't sound as intense as it was yesterday and then um, I kind of let her out after a couple of hours she seemed a bit calmer and now she's come out of her crate and she's actually ended up settling behind the sofa and she seems to have fallen asleep behind the sofa so I'd say this is an improvement on last night so I think that might be down to the um, herbal supplement thing Maybe now that she's calmed down a bit, it's kind of taken hold and she's obviously just a bit zonked out. So, 
so that's good so yeah um that'll be interesting to see over the next few days i'm sure we'll have more fireworks but at least i don't know at least it seems to be helping a bit it's better than last night hi everyone i am coming to you from the hot tub live well actually not live because obviously this is pre-recorded but it is uh, i don't know half past four quarter to five on a tuesday night and <laughs> and um it's cold outside it's i don't know six five six degrees it's cold outside but i thought perfect time to use the hot tub it's 37 degrees in here it's lovely you can sort of see the steam rising and i've been debating about what to do with it over the winter do i keep it running and heated so that i can use it is it going to be too cold and rainy and horrible and i'm not going to want to go in it not really sure and the drain and clean out is uh, coming up at the end of this month so i probably need to make a decision about whether i'm going to refill it or not once i drain it the good thing about draining it and refilling it is that then it kind of all stays in place in the right you know it's not gonna blow away it's all weighted down properly it's you know then i can use it whenever i want although that does mean i have to keep it heated through the winter which is obviously an extra electricity cost um not that it's a huge amount but it'll probably be more than in the summer um or if i drain it and i guess winterize it for three months december january february and then open it again in march do i take the whole thing down and try and put it away do i empty the water but leave the tub up with the cover on hope that it's weighted down enough and doesn't move um and that you know it doesn't get damaged i'm not really sure so but it's been a really busy last couple of days of working working from home in lots of meetings and i just thought actually time to get in the hot tub and as the sun's going down and the lights are coming on enjoy a bit of relax this is what the whole point of having the hot tub was for so yeah gonna enjoy it thanks for tuning in to this week's video i hope you enjoyed the episode please remember to hit the subscribe button or the like button leave me some comments and share the video see you guys next week